let's, let's, let's talk about getting to this money because here's the thing. On the way down to St. Louis yesterday, me and my wife are listening to the Stephen A. Smith show. You guys know Stephen A., ESPN analyst and so forth, right? Fantastic voice, fantastic charisma, fantastic social skills, soft skills, whatever it is. He has that voice. He likes to debate. A fantastic debater, fantastic writer. Stephen A. Smith is, is crushing it, right? And one of the topics on this show was the fact that People are scared to get married because of the fact that divorce can be very, very nasty. And I'm a married man, right? So me and my wife are listening in the car and Kevin Costner's name comes up. Many of you guys know who Kevin Costner is. The I know Kevin Costner from the fact that he was in the bodyguard with Whitney Houston. One of my uh, my my father-in-law's favorite movie. So anytime we used to go home and so forth, we used to look at the bodyguard because that was his favorite movie, right? And I've got to say, it's a fantastic movie fantastic movie Whitney Houston Whitney Houston looks great in the movie Kevin Costner does a fantastic job being a savior and so forth right bodyguard great movie and so forth long story short he is in a divorce going through a divorce right now and his wife is asking for two hundred and forty thousand dollars a month for child support and living expenses and I was just like holy shit like that is a lot of money in a month to be giving your wife and your kids like you gotta be making a shit load of money that's what brought me to this conversation we gotta get to this money guys so the fact that his wife his ex-wife right his estranged ex-wife is asking for 217 i said 240,000, but it's around 217,000. let's just say 200,000 of living expenses for the kids on a monthly basis you know this man is getting to the money you know he's getting to the money 68 years old He's getting to the money, right? He wants to give her $52,000 a month. But just think about that, guys. $52,000 a month is still a lot of money. That's still a lot of money. That is over $500,000 a year. You think about it. Okay, so that is, oh, my gosh, I said over five hundred. Man, that's close to $3 million a year. All right, that's a lot of freaking money. But let me let me make sure I'm doing my math right, guys. Let me make sure I'm doing my math my my math right because I'm uh I'm all over the place. When I say fifty fifty two thousand dollars times twelve, God, no, that's okay. So that's six hundred thousand. I was right the first time. A little over five hundred thousand dollars a year, right? But even so, the fact that she can ask him for fifty two thousand dollars a month, or he can be willing to give her fifty two thousand dollars a month, knows that he's getting to this money, guys. He's getting to this freaking money right and the fact that she's asking for 217 you know that he's getting to this money guys with all the stuff that he has going on he's getting to this money before he heard to even ask about that and i wanted to just brought bring that to our attention that you got so many people are on so many different levels that are getting to this money yes he's an actor entertainer and so forth but at the end of the day kevin costner is getting to this money we could be getting to this money as well too the way how we could do it though is through the world of technology through the world of technology working at technology companies, building your own technology companies, creating equity, getting stock and so forth to be able to get to this money. Now, I'm going to say it like this. As a me being a married man, a man who's been married for 11 years, boy, 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 if you're coming into a relationship, I'm going to tell you like this. If you're if if you are bringing in getting into a relationship and you already have established yourself and you've done it on your own, guys. You better protect yourself, man, in a form of a prenup or whatever legal ways that you can go out there to protect yourself. But if you are a person that, you know, building with your wife and so forth, and you get to that point, just don't get divorced, guys. I'm going to tell you like this. Divorce could be absolutely nasty. This lady is asking for this for two hundred thousand dollars a month for this man. I don't know. And they got three kids. Right. So I don't know what kind of a lifestyle they have. But obviously, he's shown them a lifestyle that many of us couldn't even fathom with the need for her to have $200,000 a month. God damn, that's a lot of money. And you think about some of the other people who've gotten divorced, right? The Tiger Woods, the Michael Jordans, the Bill Gates, the Jeff Bezos, all those guys, right? They've had to give out millions of dollars to their spouses, right? Or billions of dollars to the spouses. It depends on if it's Jeff Bezos and um, Bill Gates, right? They've had to do it. They've had to do it. 
So if you're getting into a relationship, that was the first thing I said. I said, if you're getting into a relationship, you already have something, you are established, you're making 100,000, 200,000, you already have your house and so forth, you better protect yourself. You better protect yourself because at the end of the day, these laws, these systems are not going to protect you. And that's for you as a male and a female, right? Now, again, you can't protect yourself. You don't have shit. So guys, let's get to this money. <laughs> we got to get to this money. You have to get to this money. I mean, like at the end of the day, you got to get to this money. And the way to get to this money is by working hard, getting into tech, getting into positions of power and so forth.